we've added this new arch onto uh, our aero sled uh, just for mounting equipment, um, securing oxygen bottles, uh, but still keeping in mind the comfort of our patient. Um, we're the first company in Canada to trial this new uh, piece of equipment. We've been in partnership with a local engineer in, uh, and knowing the need for what we're lacking in the medevac world right now. Which is patient comfort, which is keeping gear and equipment up and off of the patient's uh, legs, abdomen, and uh, obviously uh, securing the equipment. I think that's Making a, a safer cabin. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. For those days that uh, we get turbulence and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So this is the uh, base, of, base of it, which holds our oxygen cylinder securely, which just two little quick cranks, and then it can loosen up. Okay, so that, okay, and then we just tighten that in there, and then hand tight, and it's secure. Um, maybe just grab the uh, arm there, Jay, that has the ventilator attached to it, and we'll just quickly uh, slide it in here and show an example of, of the how we could configure the uh, the arch uh, when it comes to heavy equipment, etc., for the patient. This is a ventilator, our LTV 1200 ventilator, which is secured to the pole here, as well as IV uh, accessibility for our bags and 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 so forth. And um, we also have another device that would mount in here. Well, it's the same same, same principle, same principle, right? Same idea that would also slide in here under the top that could hold our ProPack. Uh, monitor here which Jay will just show you. Yeah, so that would basically mount on the top of the arch at the same time. The other things that we would mount on here are things like our IV pumps, which would be syringe pumps and uh, uh, am I missing anything? Uh, pretty much that's the that's the basics of yeah. what we're going to need to to secure onto the to the stretcher and be able to do smooth unloads and transfers from hospital beds to our beds. Yeah, and and back and forth. And one of the really cool things that I like about this uh, this system that we're trialing is the fact that um, when we do have our patient on here, this is the head of the stretcher and this is the foot of the stretcher, so the patient can can bend their knees and they're they're free of any uh, obstruction. Obstruction, exactly. So they can, you know, we can slide the patient onto the hospital bed and slide them on while everything is still intact on the stretcher. We touch nothing. And uh, I, I think it's a I think it's a great uh, great addition to to our equipment for our uh, air ambulance equipment.